<clears throat> in the last lecture, we finished interpolation and we now have numerical differentiation. And the next chapter will be the last chapter is about numerical integration. <clears throat> Here, it's just applying rules, nothing else. And the rules should be given during exam. So you just plug the uh, values into the rules. That's all, okay? For numerical uh, differentiation, if we are asked to estimate, yeah, we talk about first derivative and second derivative, okay? First derivative and second derivative. If you are asked to estimate, uh, let me just remind you uh, for previous chapter. Uh, in the previous chapter, uh, in the examples, it's asking about, let's say, find f of, let's say, 2.3, okay? It's asking about this. It's asking about finding the value of the function, of the function itself at a point. So what if we are asked to find f prime at 2.3? We cannot use previous chapter. We should use this chapter, okay? So how about f double prime? If the whole problem is 2.3 or any, any other point, okay? To estimate f prime and f double prime of a point, we need to use this chapter. For f, is the previous chapter, okay? Look. Uh, first, you have Taylor series. It's only used for driving the rules. Tyler series expansion, it's f of x is f of x naught plus f prime x naught x times x naught, x naught. f double prime x naught dividing by two factorial x minus x naught squared plus f triple prime x naught over three factorial x minus x naught cubed and so Okay? We don't need to know this actually. We just need to know these rules. Okay. For the first derivatives, uh, we have three different points. If it's asking for finding, <clears throat> uh, find the first derivative for a function for two points. Yeah, for two point formula, we have three for uh, two formulas. For three point, we have three rules, and also for five point, we have only two rules. Okay, in the exams, or uh, in the questions, it must asking for finding, uh, let's say, f prime of x naught. It must say, use one of these rules. If it's not, uh, if the method is not selected, you are free to use any of them, okay? And let's see two points. In two points, we have only these two rules. For two points, we have those rules. Lera, Fivista, Reka Diaripkat, Yahut, Pointakan Diaripkat, a point of Handiaripkat, Rekesh Diaripkat, a Diarinakat, Arazuko, the Shepi. Bonumuna, a Gabulin is asking for this F prime of 5.5 equals to what? If it's not asking for finding which type of points, and which method should we use? You can use any of these formulas, okay? But if it's asking for finding f prime at 5.5, if it says use forward two points. So what's forward two points this one is? You should use this tool. Okay, and the rules must be given at the end of the questions. Okay, so for first derivative, we have two points, three points, and five points. Okay, for uh, first derivative, for first derivative, we have two points, three points, and five points. And for each of these, we have some uh, methods. For example, for two points, we have forward and backward. For three points, you have forward, backward, central. And for five points, you have forward and central. We have no backward for the last one. And for the first one, we have no central. 
Look, for two point formulas, we have forward and backward, as you said above. We have two methods, forward and backward. Okay? You don't need to know the deriving of the rule. You just need to know this rule. And even this should be given in the exams. Okay? This should be given. So, for finding formula, for finding the forward difference of two points, for finding f prime, let's say f prime at x naught, use forward two points. You use this rule. You should recognize the rule. Okay? You should recognize the rule. f prime at x naught is f of xi plus h minus f of xi divided by h. What's h? h is the step size. It's the step size of x values. It's the difference between two successive x values. Okay? h is the difference of two successive x values. And for backward, it's the same. Just only here we have. We just exchange the place of these two, okay? And we change this positive to negative. This is, this is backward. This is backward difference formula for two points, okay? The above one is forward difference formula for two points. This is forward difference formula for two points. Okay, you should know only this part. This one is. This one is the formula. Okay, here we, you just plug the values here and you just calculate. It's easy. And for backward difference formula, we have the rule. Look at this example. It's easier to understand. It says use forward and backward two point formula. Yeah, it says two point formula. That means there's these two rules, this and this. Okay? And selected that we, we need to use two point formula for backward and forward. To estimate f prime at 1.05. Look, it's asking for f prime. So we don't need to use the previous chapter. You must use this chapter because it's about finding, I mean, it's about numerical differentiation. So we need to use forward and backward for two points based on this data, okay? Look, for finding f prime at 1.05, what's 1.05? Find it in the, among x values. Find this among x values. What's this? Yes, this one. Okay, that's it. This is the x value. Forward, for forward, we say f prime of xi is f of xi plus h minus f of xi divided by h. This is forward. What's f of xi plus h? It means f of this, f of the next x, f of the next x, xi plus h, this xi. Okay, this is xi. What's xi plus h? It's the next x. What's f of this point? That means xi is 1.05. It's the given point, xi. Xi plus h is the next point. Xi minus h is the previous point. Okay? Here, this is Xi. So what's Xi plus h is this one. Xi minus h is this one. Okay? We now have... So, Xi. This is Xi. This is Xi plus h. 
And this is Xi minus H. That's it. Okay? Xi is 1.05. Xi plus H is 1.10. We need the image of these two points. Look at the formula. In the formula, we need F of Xi plus H. What's F of Xi plus H? It is the y value for that x, okay? f of 1.10 is what? It is 1.04881. And what's f of xi? That's the y value. It's the corresponding y value, okay? We now can say that it is f of xi plus h is this. It's 1.04881 minus f of xi itself. It is 1.02470. Sorry. That's it. All dividing by h. What's h? Just subtract two successive x values. Look. Let's subtract these two. Okay? It's 1.15 minus 1.10. Okay? It's 0 0.05, is it? It is 0 0.05. So th this is H, dividing by H, 0 0.05. Just calculate this. It's easy. It's just using the rule, nothing else. If you know the rule, it's easy. But you should first select what's Xi, what's Xi plus one, what's Xi minus one, because you need to know these. Xi is the given X to its range. Here, we need to ask, we need to find this, f prime at 1.05. So this is 1.05, this is xi. The next x is xi plus one. The previous one is xi minus one, okay? Therefore, backward. This is for uh, forward, just to calculate this. It's 1.0488, that's it. Minus this, divide by out of And the result is 0 0.4822. Okay? For backwards, for backwards, we say it is f of xi minus f of xi minus h. For backward, we say f prime of this xi is f of xi minus f of xi plus, so minus h. Dividing by h. This is backward. This backward different formula for two points. Now, we need to have f of xi, f of xi minus h. Look, f of xi minus h is the same as to say here, xi minus h, xi minus h is xi minus 1. It's the same. xi plus h is xi plus 2. Plus 1, sorry. xi plus h is the same as to say x i plus one. Okay? It's the same. Because this next next x i and this is the previous x x i. Oh, sorry. We need to find f of x i and f of x i minus s from the table. Okay. What's f of what's x i? We already found h, which is 0 0.05 by subtracting two successive x values, you get h. h here is 0 
Now, this is xi because it says find f prime of 1.05. So this value is xi. The previous value is xi minus h or xi minus 1. What's the previous x value? It's 1. We say it is f of xi, which is this value, minus f of xi minus h, dividing by h. So it is. So 1.02470 minus 1. All dividing by h. h is 0 0.05. Calculate this. You'll get the answer. It's easy. The table is given. We can find h. If you just know what's what's xi, be sure that you'll not you'll get the results uh, correct. Okay, it's easy. Here, for two points, we have forward and backward, the principle. How about three points? The, the solution of this question is here. Here you have three point formulas. For three point formula, we have forward, backward, and central. We have forward, backward, and central. You don't need to know this derivation of the rule here. F prime is for forward. Forward difference formula for three points. It's this rule. This is the formula. <clears throat> and for three point formula is this one. I mean for backward. This is for backward. You just need to know. You just need to recognize these. Look, this rule, just recognize it. It, it should be given in the exam. Okay? This also. It's, it's for backward. Then for central, this is for central. It says for central. You just need to know these three rules here for three points. Just recognize this actually. Okay, look, look at this example. It's similar to the previous one. You just need to put the points into the formula. Here, these are x values, these are y values. It says use forward, backward, and central three point formulas. Look, it says three point formula. It means we need to use these. We don't have to use the previous one. For two, therefore, they are for two points. But for three points, we have these new three formulas. This and this. Okay? We have these three formulas. It says use forward, backward, and central three-point formulas to estimate if prime at 1.10. This is xi. So xi is 1.10. Now let's find xi, xi minus h, xi minus h. This is xi. Okay? We need to estimate that. We need to estimate f prime at this point. This point is the next one is xi plus one or xi plus h. It's the same. How about the next one? This xi plus 2 or xi plus 2h. Okay? Therefore, the previous one, this is xi minus h or xi minus 1. Okay? And this one is xi minus 2h or xi minus 2. That's it. Now, we need to use the rules. Look. This is for central. For central, we have f prime of xi is f of xi plus h minus f of xi minus h, all dividing by 2h. f prime of 
x i is f of x i plus h minus f of x i minus h all dividing by 2 h. Okay, what's f of x i plus h? This is x i plus h. I mean, this value is x i plus h. What's f of that value? It's the corresponding y value. That's 1.07238. It is 1.07238 minus xi minus h. This is xi minus h. I mean, this value is. What's f of this value is the y value here? That's 1.0247. All dividing by h. H here is the same as the previous example. As you see, if we subtract these two x values, 1.05, 1.05 minus 1 is 0.05. So this is h. Divided by 0.05. And calculate this by using calculator. Just subtract the numerators and divide it by denominator. You get that. This is for central. That's all. Okay, that's all that you need to do for central. It's for central of three points. Then, for forward and backward of three points, okay, look, for forward, we have this formula. This is F prime of forward. This forward difference formula of three points. It is 1 over 2h times minus 3 f of xi plus 4 f of xi plus h minus f of xi plus 2h. We already selected what's, f, what's xi, what's xi plus h, and what's xi plus 2h. Okay, we just find, or we just <clears throat> pick the image of these points in the table, and if like to here, you get the result. Look, this f of xi, f of xi plus one, or oh, plus h, f of xi plus two h, we have these three. Okay, we, are, we just pick these three values here, and put it into this row. They calculate it. H here is 0 0.5, 0 0.05. It's easy to calculate. This is f of 1.10, which is f of xi. This is f of xi plus h. This is h. f of xi plus h is, look, that's f of 1.15. Look, we said that 1.15 is xi plus h. You don't need to do this step, actually. You don't need to do this and this step. You just can pick these values, as I selected here, this, this, and this, from the table, and put it into the pool. OK? Put it here, 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 and here. You get the result direct. And this 0.4764. Okay. Take a note. Then hand the can and let table like a what are you here, Danny? You cheat it. Okay? But that X I C X I Z X U X I Z do she bring do it. X I Nax S U X I Nax do it here on the plant house. For backward formula, look, we need to find X I xi minus h and xi minus 2h. We need these three. Okay? Let's return to the table. This is xi. xi minus h. xi minus 2h. We just need the image of these three points. The image of this point is this. The image of xi minus h is this. And this is the image of xi 
just pick these three values and put it here in the formula. Put it here. Here and here. You get the result that is. But H is 0 0.05. As you know, H could be obtained by subtracting two successive X values. So you don't need to do this step and this step. Okay, you can skip these two steps. You you just get here. Okay. And the result is 0.4763. So I'm leaving this for yourself to calculate because it's just working on calculator. It's nothing. It's easy. Okay. Uh and this is the same sort that I've done at the first one, okay? First we did this and we did uh, backward and forward. To set an LSL, three points. For two points, we have two formulas, forward and backward. For three points, we have three, po three formulas, forward, backward, central, okay? And for five points, we have two formula, forward and central. We have only those two formula. Okay, we have five points. For five points, the central difference formula is this. Same formula can I sign here. I will put the lane behind. And I will never knock it. أنا سيكن الام فورمولا اسان لي بركب ني بلي الامتحان باشا ايو تنها دانا نوي جمار نلقاكان لا فورمولا اي شي تلنيا لوك ات فور فايف بوينت فور فايف بوينت اس اي سيد وي هاف تو فورمولاس سنترال اند فورورد فور سنترال وي هاف ذس فورمولا لوك ان ذس فورمولا وي جاست نيد xi plus h xi plus h xi plus 2h xi minus h xi minus 2h we don't need xi for central but in forward we need xi xi plus h xi plus 2h xi plus 3h and xi plus 4h we need xi and uh, four next uh, and, and next four x okay you just need to plug to here it's easy look look at this example it says given the following data use forward and central five point formula five point formula so we need to use this formula and this one because these two are for central and forward five points. To estimate F prime at 1.10. Let's first now, what's 1.10? This is 1.10. So it is Xi. How about the next one? I mean, it's Xi plus H. This one xi plus 2h this one xi plus 3h this one xi plus 4h and the previous one it's xi minus h this is xi minus 2h now we selected all x x values look for central we just need xi minus s look mean xi minus h xi plus h, xi minus 2h, xi plus 2h. We only need these four values. And also we need h. Look for h. If we find it, 
You just subtract these two to get the value of uh, H, which is 0 0.05. It's similar to the previous examples. Okay, for central, we just need Xi minus H, Xi plus H, Xi plus 2H, and Xi plus Xi minus 2H. So what do we need here? We need this Xi minus 2H, Xi minus H, Xi plus H, Xi plus 2H. <laughs> we just put these values. So you know this one. We just put this, these two values, and these two values were into this formula. We just replace this by the y value corresponding to the xi minus 2h. Okay? So this is f of xi minus 2h. This is f of xi minus h. This is f of xi plus h. And this is xi plus 2h. We just put these values into this formula. And you get the results. It's easy. The formula is given. And the data is given. What do we do? We just put the values into the formula. Okay? And it's easy to calculate it. Look, it's for central. It's 1 over 12 times h. As you see in the rule, we have 12 times h. We need to multiply it by 12. h is 0 0.05. That's it. This is f of xi minus 2h. This is minus 8 times f of xi minus h. Plus 8 times f of xi plus h minus f of xi plus 2h. You can directly write down these values. Okay, you can skip this step and this step. You can also write down both steps, but you, you can also skip those two steps. Okay, and you get the result, which is 0 0.47665. That's for five points central. Okay, how about five point of forward? Look at the formula of forward. It depends on xi, xi plus h, xi plus 2h, xi plus 3h, and xi plus 4h. What are these? This is xi, xi plus h, xi plus 2h, xi plus 3h, and this xi plus 4h. Now, we need these values. We just replace f of xi by this value. And we replace f of xi plus h by this value. We replace f of xi plus 2h by this value. xi plus 3h by this and xi plus 4h by this value. Where? Into this formula. To get the value of f prime at 1.10 by using forward difference formula of five points. Okay. Just using the formulas. The formulas are going to be given during exams. So what you do, you just need to put the values into the formula. This is the formula. This is the formula. If x i z d if x i z d now x i how do we get amanda how do we get x k amanda? I tell you, see, one point here now. One point here, am I? We now table here. X value, we now x value. Can I be equal? Basha, am x i. But the last, am I? Yeah, x i z d x i z d for sure. But the last one. Nax. X I Nax. H X I Nax. H 
وقت عام نفهمه اللي هي بو اكس اي اف اكس يا من الخير اكس اي زائد اتش اما من الخير كيتي اكس اي ناقص اتش اما من الخير كيتي اف اكس باش اما انا بكارين لنا فورد من الكلام طبعا زود اسان We now have second derivatives. We have three-point formula and five-point formula. We only have two types of points here, three-point and five points. For three-point, you have sensor. And for five-point, you have also, we also have sensor. We just have central for five-point formula. We have no forward and backward for uh, second derivative, sorry. For second derivatives, we just have central. We have no forward and backward. And we also have only three point and five points. That's for second derivative. But for the first derivative, as we did, we have two points, three points, and five points. Okay? For two points, we have only forward and backward. For three points, we have backward, forward, and central. And for Five points we have only forward and central. That's for first derivative. For second derivative, we have three points and five points. And in both, we have only one formula, which is central. Okay? For three point formula, that's the derivation. We don't need to know this. This one is. This is, as you see, f double prime. It's second derivative. To find second derivative, we have only central. At either three points or five points. To find f double prime of xi. In the previous one, we found f prime. But now we have f double prime. F double, f double prime of xi for three points. This formula is for three points. Is f of xi minus h plus 2f two two f of xi plus f of xi plus h of h squared of h squared, okay? This is the rule for central difference formula for three points. That's for second derivative. Look at this example. It says use central three-point formula to estimate. It doesn't say the first derivative or second derivative. It just gives this. From here, you should know it's second derivative because it's f double prime. Okay, this is f double prime. That means we need to find f double prime uh, for three points uh, central. Okay, for central, three point formula. And also here, each is given. If, if, it's, uh, if it's not given, just subtract two successive x values, you get the value of x. But uh, so you get the value of h. Look, h never be negative. Okay. Always subtract the next one from the previous one to get the value of h. That's it. Now, <clears throat> to find or to estimate this, what we do? This is xi. This is xi. 1.10 is xi. This is xi. This is xi. So what's xi plus h, xi plus 2h, and also xi minus h, xi minus 2h. This xi plus h. xi plus 2h. And also here we have xi minus h. xi minus 2h. That's it. Write down these on the table, okay? During exams. This is xi. So this is f of xi. Is it? This is xi minus h. So this is f of xi minus h. And this is xi plus h. And this is xi, f of xi plus h. Put these three into the formula. This is the formula. In the formula, we just need f of xi minus h, f of xi, and f of xi plus h. Okay? We just put, what's f of xi minus h? It's 1.02470. We just put it here. 
And here, minus two times f of xi. We just replace f of xi by this value. And f of xi plus h by this value. To here. How about h? h is given. <clears throat> and also, you, you can uh, we can find it. That's 0 0.05 squared. Okay, just fine, it's just calculated. You get the result, that's it. Look, as direct, you put it here. So if, if the prime at 1.10 is this f of xi minus h, this is f of xi, this is f of xi plus h, this is h squared, and the result is this. This is f double prime, of the function at 1.10. <clears throat> this is f the prime of the function at 1.10. Okay? Do you have any question about this? It's easy. And then five points, <clears throat> five point formula. As I said, we also have only central five points. <clears throat> For second derivative, we have only central for both three points and five points. And the rule is this. It's f prime. That says f double prime, not f prime actually. This should be f double prime. Okay, this is f double prime. So the central five point difference formula is this. So it's difficult to memorize this this formula, and it's given in the exam. So what do we need here? We need f of x i, f of x i plus h, f of x i plus two h. And also, f of xi minus h, f of xi minus 2h. We can find this from the table. Just put it here, you get the result. Look at this example. In this example, it says, find f double prime at 1.10. This 1.10. So it is xi. The next one is xi plus h. Next one is xi plus 2h. And this one, xi minus h x i minus 2 h. We need these values. We need only these five values. Put these into the formula. You get the result. Okay? And also h. You should put h here. h is 0 0.05. f of x i minus 2 h is 1. It just replaced by 1 f of x i minus h is here yeah, we have 16 also we multiply by 16. this one is 16 times this then this one then 16 times this then this one so 30 minus 30 is 16 that's all. this is the calculation of it this is f double prime also this must be f double prime, okay? We now, f double prime is one over 12 times 0 0.5 to the power two, 0 0.05 to the power two, this is h squared. It's one over 12 h squared times, minus this one, plus this one, minus this one, plus, minus. Just put this here and calculate this. You get the result. This one is the final answer. This is the final answer, okay? Uh, in this chapter, you don't need to memorize anything. You just need to practice or solve. I mean, just solve at least one example by yourselves. Be sure you'll get full mark here in this chapter, okay? And that's all. It's all about this chapter. If you have no questions, let's take a break then.
uh, you'll take the cues. Bale, Akboy, I'm half take you, Zeko Ganachus, and I'm half take you, Manda, but away, extract you, Zeko. Pal Prisatania, I'm chapter is what I said. 